In this video we're going to look at reading scales. It's very important you know how to read a scale. You're going to see different scales. You may see them on your car, for instance, uh, your speedometer. You may see it on your oven. In other words, what temperature you've got the oven set up. You may even see it on uh, your scales whenever you go into the bathroom and you weigh yourself, um, unless you've got electronic ones. Okay. So it's very important to be able to read scales such as this and be able to tell what arrows point to in different scales. The most important thing you do, uh, you do whenever you're looking at reading scales is that you make sure you know what each one of the little lines is. Okay, so in other words, what's the increment that it's increasing by? Okay, so if you look here, we've got 0, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. So in other words, every time you have one of these big long uh, lines here, it's 100. So the next then one would be 700, 800 and so on. In the middle, this is then going to be, if that's not and that's 100, well that's going to be 50 in the middle. So each one of these little lines represents a 50, so that's 50, 150, 250, 350 and so on. Let's look and see what the little lines mean, okay? So if this is 50 here, then let's have a look and see what this is mean. Now normally whenever you're doing this, you can sort of use your intuition that this is going to be, let's think, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, yeah, so it's 10, so not 10, 20, or not 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And normally your intuition will be quite good at that. So for instance, if you needed to know what this arrow pointed at, then it would be 400 and 10, 20, 30. So this arrow points to 430, 30, okay? So that's how you would read a scale, okay? Um, let's have a look at another one. Okay, so this time we've got 300 being here, 400 being here, 500 being here. So each one of these big long lines here. Um, okay, so let's have a look at this one. So this time we've got 300, 400, 500. And notice that we've got a mark halfway between the 300 and the 400. And we've got a longer one in between uh, 400 and 500, like so. So I'm going to have a guess that this is equal to 350, because it's halfway between these two. So this is 350. This here one would be 450. Okay, let's have a think then what each one of the little ones then would be. So if this is 350, again I'm thinking this could be 10. So 310, 320, 330, 340, 350. So this one, if each one of these is 10s, then it would be 360, 370, 380. Okay, let's have a look at another one. <clears throat> okay, this time we've got 5, 6, 7. And we've got a mark again halfway between them, so halfway between 5 and 6 we've got a longer one, halfway between 6 and 7 we've got a longer one. So this is going to be halfway between these two numbers. So if this is 5 and this is 6, then this would be halfway between them, which would be 6.5. This one would be halfway between 5 and 6, so that would be 5.5. .5. Now again, let's have a look at what each one of these little ones is worth. Now again, try and use your intuition, so if this is 6 and this is 6.5, these could be tenths, so let's have a look, 6.1, 6.2, 6.3, 6.4, 6.5. So this then would be, yep, yeah, 6.2, because 6.1, 6.2. Okay, okay, so this time we've got 100 and 200, and we've got <clears throat> one, two, three little ones in between them like that. Now again, let's look at halfway. If this is 100 and this is 200, then the halfway will be 150. So now this time we've got 100 and 150, and you've got this one in between it. So as this is halfway between 100 and 150, this would be halfway between them, which would be 125. So that means that each one, each one of the little ones is, a, is 25. So this is 25, 25, 25, and 25. So if you had another 25 under 150, this would be 175. Or another way to work out 175 here would be to just do halfway between 150 and 200, like so. Okay, this time we've got 0 and 20. Now, if you notice, we haven't got one marked in the middle here, so 10 isn't actually marked on the scale. Okay, so we've got 0 and 20, and we've got 1, 2, 3, 4 little uh, markings on the scale. Now, again, I, I like sort of going for the intuition approach on these. So we need to go from 0 to 20, and we're going up in certain steps, and we're going to get the 20. So let's have a look. Could there be 5s? Let's have a look. 5, 10, 15, 20. So it's not 5, because 5 is too big. So let's try another number, let's go smaller. Let's try ones. One, two, three, four, one, obviously not ones. Twos, two, four, six, eight, ten. No, two's too small. Three, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. <clears throat> so not threes, fours, zero. So it'll be four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty. Oh, so it's gonna be fours this time. So it'll be four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty.
Okay, this one we've been asked to mark 360 on this scale with an arrow. So again, the most important thing is you know what which uh, what the scale's gone up in. So we've got naught and 100. So let's have a look here. Again, notice that the middle isn't marked, so 50 is not marked. So let's think what it could go up in. So is it 10s, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50? No, 10 is far too small. Notice that, yes, 50, which is half of 100. So let's try instead of 10s, let's try 20s. 20, 40, 60. 80, 100, oh, so it is going up in 20s, fantastic. So if it's going up in 20s, that would be 300, so that's 300, and, that's 300, so that'd be 320, 340, 360. So that would be 360 there. Okay, this one we've been asked to mark 43 on this scale. So again, let's see what, which, uh, what each one of the little ones is worth. So we've gone from 20 to 30, and again, notice halfway is not marked. So we can't just go halfway between it to get 25. So let's have a think. So let's go up in ones, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So it's definitely not ones, it's too small. 25, okay, so let's try twos. 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. Okay, so it's twos. So we've got 40, 42, 44. Oh, we need to do 43. So we've got 42 here, that's 42. We've got 44 here. So 43... It's halfway between those. So 43 is going to be in the middle. They could say, oh, it's, how do you know you, the arrow is exactly in the middle? Well, the examiner's not going to be, they're, they're, they're going to sort of know where you're trying to get to, okay? So in, in between 42 and 44. Okay, so this time we've got a scale, and notice that the halfway point's marked again. So that's nice. So if you get 2 and 3, you know the middle's going to be 2.5. Okay? So let's then think what each one of the little ones is going to be worth. So that's 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, 2.4, 2.5. Fantastic. So 2.9, well then 2.5, 2.6, 2.7, 2.8, 2.9. So 2.9 is going to point there on the diagram, 2.9.